Welcome to Wormhole Fundamentals 2.0, a revision to the original series of videos from Adhocracy Incorporated that will explain each facet of wormhole space and its mechanics in the universe of EVE Online. In this episode we will be talking about system effects. Wormhole space systems are divided into six classes, but not all systems in a given class are created equal. Some have system effects which change certain features of your ship throughout that system. They are permanent, so if a W space system has one effect, it will always have that effect. They also scale with class, so an effect in a class 1 system is much weaker than the same effect in a class 6 system. They only affect player ships, so sleepers are the same everywhere. You'll know you're dealing with a system effect when you jump into a wormhole and it tells you local spatial phenomena may cause strange effects on your ship systems. You can try to figure out what the effect is by looking at it, but it's more reliable to plug the JSEG into wh.pasta.gg or .lan to figure out what your newfound superpowers are. There are six types of effects. Magnetar, Pulsar, Wolf Rayet, Cataclysmic Variable, Red Giant, and Black Hole. Let's go through them one by one. Magnetars increase your damage output and missile explosion radius, but reduce drone tracking, targeting range, tracking speed, and target painter strength. In a class 6 system, the aforementioned variables are cut in half, but you do double your normal damage, so bring webs. Pulsars are a Kaldari pilot's dream. They make your shields awesome and your armor paper thin. You get more raw shield health points, but all of your armor resistances go down. Don't bring an armor gang into a pulsar. Energy neutralizers and nosses get a bonus so you can suck it all day long. Wolf rayets are nearly the opposite of pulsars. Your armor goes up and your shield resists go down, while signature size is decreased. Small weapons also get a big damage bonus, so grab your armor assault frigate of choice and go nuts. Disclaimer, high-class sleepers will still easily obliterate assault frigates. Do not attempt to run C6 sites in a retribution. Cataclysmic variables are a logistic pilot's best friend. Remote repair systems repair more, and your capacitor and capacitor recharge time is increased. However, remote cap transfers zap less, and local repair systems repair less, so don't try to solo one of these. Red Giants are quirky systems. If you like to overheat things, overloaded modules get even bigger bonuses. However, they also take more heat damage, so you can be awesome, but not for very long. Bombs do more damage, and smart bombs also have a bigger range and do more damage. So light that Disco Inferno! Hyperion brought many revisions to system effects, the most significant being for black holes. Your top speed goes up, but your handling goes down, so you can easily go really really fast in a straight line, but it takes forever to turn. It also increases missile velocity and explosion velocity, while reducing your web strength. Ships fit with rapid light missile launchers are ungodly. If you find one, I suggest grabbing your fastest frigate and seeing how fast you can go. Just make sure you bookmark the wormhole before you rocket off grid. Knowing about system effects is essential to your survival in both PvP and PvE. Some tactics work spectacularly well with certain system effects and nowhere else, while your favorite fleet comp might break down if you jump into the wrong hole. Be aware of your surroundings and use the local terrain to your advantage. Thanks for watching this episode of Wormhole Fundamentals. Stay tuned for future videos that will give an in-depth look at each aspect of wormhole life.